in the lead, but not the majority they were expecting. As the world's largest democratic exercise is drawing to a close in India and tens of millions of votes are being counted, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's BJP and its allies are ahead of the opposition alliance. But the runaway victory that exit polls predicted and the party had hoped for is far from reality. Uh, when the election started, it seemed like a done deal for the BJP. It gave an impression that they will just romp through uh, on the uh, glow of the Ram temple that they had built in Ayodhya. But as the campaign started warming up and people started going to the ground, talking to the voters, they realized that there were many compelling issues like price rise, like cost of living, and also the most compelling was uh, the, the unemployment. And that is in a certain way uh, trumped the BJP in a manner they had not expected. If Modi's party wins, he will be only the second prime minister in India's history to hold office for three consecutive terms. When the BJP swept elections in 2014, India was the 10th largest economy. Now, it's the 5th. Yet economic concerns were major issues for voters. An alliance of opposition parties campaigned to address those issues. The coalition is led by the Indian National Congress, which governed India for much of its history. Certainly, the BJP is certainly not running away with this election. Mr. Modi used to get away by blaming the previous commerce governments for the last 50 years. He's been in power for 10 years, and if he gets another term, that will make it 15. That's a very, very long time in politics, and that's good enough time to try and solve some of the problems. India's lower house of parliament, or Lok Sabha, has 543 seats. A party or coalition needs to win 272 seats to form a government. The Election Commission says of the nearly 1 billion registered voters, more than 640 million cast their ballots. The six-week-long elections that began on April 19th were held as much of India battled a severe heat wave. The election campaign was deeply divisive. Modi was accused of hate speech, calling the 200 million Muslim community infiltrators. The elections come as Freedom House ranked India as partly free for a third year. The report by the US-based organization says democracy in India is losing ground. Umakulsum Sharif, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.